guys, this is Hardy Kid Elite here today. Uh, we got another death battle called uh, J Joker versus uh, Gamma. Am I saying that right? From the Persona series versus the JoJo Adventure. Bizarre Adventure. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I don't know who's going to win here, so I'm not too sure. Hmm. I don't know much about Gamma. I never really watched the series like that. I mean, I saw the first one in this two. And I didn't really finish free. Oh, come on. Alright, okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, now let's continue. We'll see what happens here. Who's gonna win? This battle is sponsored by Marvel Snap. Ooh. Joker versus Giorno. The fate oh, of shit, I was saying that wrong. JoJo's golden gangstar. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ren Amamiya wasn't prepared for this to happen. When he witnessed an innocent woman being harassed and stepped in, he had no idea her assailant was one of Japan's most prominent politicians. He's still Ren a bitch. was forced to leave town, lose friends, and transfer to Shujin Academy. There's definitely more fun ways to ruin your life. But his run-ins with corrupt authority figures was only just beginning. One might call it a theme. And it wouldn't just be dealing with your garden variety scumbag gym teachers. Ren and his new friends friends found themselves in a whole new world, the Metaverse! <laughs> Ooh, that's scary! What yeah, the fuck? That Derived from the works of Carl Jung, this collective unconscious is like an alternate reality formed from the amalgamated thoughts and feelings of mankind. What humans believe, or even what they fear, directly shapes it. And inside this crazy mental realm, those who have been corrupted by power and abuse the weak have become evil superpowers, just like how they're viewed by many of their victims in the real world. Victims like Ren and his friends, Ryuji, An, Makoto, Pancakes, and the animal. They may have been helpless against Another crushing war. institutional might in the real world, but in the metaverse, they had a way to fight back. Personas. As part of the summoner's inner self, personas can become incredibly powerful spirits. By using their personas to battle their foes in the metaverse and steal their hearts, the source of their moral corruption, Ren and company could cause such foes to repent in the real world. Mm -hmm. So the friends formed a band called the Phantom Thieves, with Ren as their leader, codenamed Joker. And mm -hmm. Joker's first persona was the awesome Arsene. With razor sharp claws and the ability to curse enemies with dark energy, Arsene was an excellent persona to start with. But mm -hmm. Joker's a wild card. Literally, he can capture as many personas as he wants. Mm -hmm. He's gotta catch them all, cause they each have their own crazy <laughs> powers. From Pokemon. shooting fire, ice and lightning, to dishing out status effects, healing and resistances, to lobbing actual nukes at the baddies. So Joker can fight with manifestations of deity like Beelzebub, Odin, and Jesus Christ. What the wow. fuck? He looks way different than in the paintings I've seen. Oh, hey, <laughs> did you know that a persona is connected to their user's own stamina? So when a persona is shattered, even though it's not like dead dead, it does rattle the user pretty badly. Well, without his personas, Joker can still rely on his guns, grappling hooks, smoke bombs, etc. Might not sound like much compared to summoning actual Satan, but in the metaverse, perception is reality. No, really, it actually works like that. In the real world, Joker's gun is only a prop. However, with Joker's reputation in the metaverse, this prop becomes a god killer. As the Phantom Thieves' reputation increased, so did their power, simply because that's how they were perceived. Kinda like how Personas are empowered by the social links Joker possesses with his friends. Yes, in the world of Persona, hanging out with your buds makes you stronger. Anime! Game! At their max, social links can bring a wildcard user back from the brink of death, instilling them with willpower greater than the rest of humanity combined. I guess meticulously gardening your friends like a sociopath has its benefits. Hey Wiz, have a cold one on me. Uh, <laughs> thanks. They did this, that's cool. <laughs> Ah, looks like our relationship meter's maxed out. Oh, yeah. Well, guess there's no point to us hanging out anymore. Later, loser, I'm gonna go do untested pharmaceuticals and date my teacher. Oh. Wait, date your what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Over the course of his yeah. adventures leading the Phantom Thieves, Joker's bonds made him as powerful as the gods he commands. Ooh. He can dodge Lucifer's Morning Star, which summons an energy beam that travels several light years in seconds, millions of times faster than light. Or survive a cheeseburger that exploded big enough to eclipse a nebula. Talk about that was amazing. Problems. I gotta check that no out. No wonder Joker can face off against opponents that can reshape all of reality. Like Maruki, who used the metaverse to rewrite all of reality to fit his desires. Or Yaldabaoth, who merged the real world and metaverse together. It was in this battle with Yaldabaoth that Joker upgraded Arsene to create Satanile, the biblical angel of vengeance. With a big ass gun, perceive this reality, bitch! Its <laughs> primary attack, Sinful Shell, is imbued with what is known as almighty energy, which can bypass any defense, even that from the omnipotent orb, which can explicitly rewrite reality. Yes, very good. Big ass gun whiz! And with a shot heard around the world, Joker and his friends prove that you're never too young to change society for the better, no matter how arduous the forces against you may be. If the man is keeping you down, just call up the phantom thieves to put them in their place. They'll never see it coming. As far back as he could remember, Junior right. Giovanna always wanted to be a gangster. Cause damn it feels good to be a gangster! Gone are the days of leaving horse heads in your enemy's bed, or squeezing their head in a vice till they pop! Giorno wanted to be a different kind of gangster. A more progressive, metrosexual kind of mob boss. A gangster! A shy, withdrawn boy on the streets of Naples, Giorno's life changed the day he saved a wounded mobster. In return, he was rewarded with future protection from abuse and isolation. This act of reciprocal kindness convinced Giorno of the value of the mob as a social organization. If only it was commanded by the right person. Someone like Giorno. All he had to do was take control of the Neapolitan Mafia, Passione, and their army of superpowered assassins. Ambitious? Maybe. But hey, he's the bastard son of the insane vampire douche lord himself. Dio Brando! <laughs> who conceived Giorno while possessing the body of his arch enemy, Jonathan Joestar. This technically makes Giorno both a Brando and a Jojo. Hence the name Jojo! Get it? Well, he didn't just inherit the name, but also the Joestar bloodline's power. Giorno possesses a stand, gold experience. Stands are invisible, intangible, punchy ghosts that protect their user and come with incredible superpowers, like stopping time, making fiction into reality, or cooking Italian food! God damn, give me that one! And Giorno's gold experience has perhaps the greatest potential of any stand in the series. With just a touch, it can imbue inanimate objects with golden light energy. Turning them into any plant or animal in an instant and back again. Giorno uses this with maximum creativity, like disguising a gun as a banana so you accidentally blow your own brains out. A gorilla's hey. worst nightmare. Giorno is, frankly, a super genius when it comes to gold experience's ability. Like transforming bullets into flesh to heal the very wounds they made, or changing a brick into a snake that can detect body heat and find a hidden enemy, or turning his teeth into a special kind of jellyfish that filters out the toxins in the piss he was drinking. I thought I was the only one who did that. Should the object Jorno gives Dang, light to be part of a greater hole, like turning a tooth into a fly, it will attempt to return to its original source. Not only that, any damage Jorno's creations receive will be reflected onto the opponent. Jorno can even imbue living things with this same energy. This supercharges the target's consciousness, causing them to outpace their physical body, and leaving them totally helpless to counterattack. It might seem like you got 10 times faster, but you're actually experiencing time at a way slower rate while your body is stuck in the same position. Imagine a Muda to the nuts felt for 20 straight seconds. Forget about it. Especially when you're hitting as hard as Gold Experience. According to the Jojo Veller art book written by the mangaka himself, Gold Experience has a speed rating of A, putting him in the same league as stands like Star Platinum and Silver Chariot, which are faster than light. And although his strength stat is only a C. He can still shatter cars like glass and keep up with ace ring stands like sticky fingers. Perfect for a merciless stand rush that lasts seven pages long. Daddy Dio must be so proud. With gold experience at his side, Giorno joined Passione and rose to challenge its reclusive leader, Diavolo. Wait, 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 wait. Diavolo? You're telling me that Giorno, the son of God, battles the devil, just like Jesus, whose full biblical name is Yeshua, or Joshua, Ben Joseph. 
Joshua Joseph Jojo. We're moving on. Diavolo's goal was to get his hands on a stand arrow. Yeah. And when a stand is pierced by a stand arrow, it evolves. So, jo Joe got it first and transformed gold experience into the most broken thing in anime. Gold experience Requiem. Requiem stands change the rules entirely. It's almost like they elevate your stand beyond the need for combat. Gold experience Requiem can, in short, negate any action taken against it and return it to a state of zero, shifting reality back to square one. Let's say I woke up this morning, got myself a gun, and fired it at Jorno. With gold experience Requiem, no matter how accurate I am, the shot will always miss because I never fired my gun. That is return to zero. And also a horrific example of gun safety. This applies to any attack made against Requiem, including from Diavolo's mm. stand, King Crimson, have a which hard can time infamously skip guy. time, erasing the universe for 10 seconds. And Requiem negated that. It undid time being erased, while time was already erased, which meant there was no time to unerase the erased time, and I... Uh, <laughs> That's right, Boomstick. Requiem's ability acts independently of time itself. Sound crazy? Well, Requiem can counter the stand made in heaven, which can accelerate time across the whole universe into infinity. So that kind of range of Requiem's ability is actually consistent. It also reduces your willpower to zero, so you can't even fight back. Even your death can be returned to zero. After hey. pummeling Diavolo into pulp, Requiem prevented him from dying, forcing him to relive the experience of being killed over and over in a series of never-ending alternate universes for eternity. Just when you thought you were out, Requiem pulls you back in. The second you hear that piano start playing, run. And so Giorno took control of Passione and turned it into the peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. With its streets free of drugs, Italy's youth could rest easy. Their hopes and dreams could be carried into the future on a golden wind. Vento Rayo. Hi. Wiz, you gotta play that mobile game with all the super. No, we're skipping the mobile game bullshit. Available on the App Store, Google Play, and Steam. Or visit MarvelSnap.com to learn more. We came here to fight. I don't care about all this. We came here to see this. Oh, all right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time. Death battle! battle. Alright. Gold experience! Go, are set! Already fighting. Giorno Giovanna, your heart is twisted. It is ours to take. Shoki Fantasmi, my dreams aren't yours to take. Never see it coming. Checkmate. Nope. Dang. Dang, you're gonna beat him up like nothing. Ooh, Alice. A second stand. <laughs> you never took the time to understand my gold experience. Oh, they Objects given life by gold experience desire to return home. His persona creates life. I've got to nullify that. Jack Frost, Ice Age! Hi, uh, Jack Frost! This shock of Phantasma is justice. This is Requiem. Oh, dang. Go 
y'all gonna go get an ass bitch! Dang! Oh shoot. Joker, keep fighting. You can do it. If Not you die now, Joker's got to kill you again myself. Oh, I'll awaken. Maybe you didn't hear me before. Checkmate. Oh shoot. Oh, he died. Well, it looks like we got a winner. It's Joker! <laughs> That's interesting. KO! <sighs> Giorno never had the makings of a varsity death battle winner. This was an absolutely fascinating matchup and far from an easy call. Joker versus Base Gold experience wasn't close, though. Sure, Giorno's powers threw Joker for a loop, but Joker and his personas were millions of times faster and could take on universe busters. And there was no doubt Joker could see Giorno's stand, considering he could spot similar beings like Shadow. Add in the versatility of Joker's hundreds of personas, Whoa. and Giorno could get quickly overwhelmed. But that's where Requiem came in, and the game changed. With its ability to nullify any action taken against it, even ones that can affect entire universes, Joker's regular arsenal was rendered moot. Remember, Requiem could act independently of time, so Joker wouldn't be able to avoid Requiem's ability. He'd have to beat it outright. Right. Take when the Phantom Thieves faced Maruki. The group couldn't resist the reality warping effects of his powers. He even had an ability that nullified actions against him, similar to Gold Experience Requiem. But Joker still had an ace up his sleeve. While Requiem can reduce your willpower to zero, Joker's social links were able to recharge him. And finally, we have Joker's almighty attacks, which could bypass reality warping defenses like the Omnipotent Orb, the perfect counter for Requiem. And this is actually backed up in JoJo. While Requiem only has one appearance in the manga, it did show up in the game Eyes of Heaven. There, it faced off against the world over heaven, which can overwrite reality to overpower any attack, including Requiem's return to zero. That meant an almighty attack that can bypass reality warping would have the same effect, giving Joker the option he needed to land a killing blow against Requiem's perfect defense. Dio is such a dick, he literally ruined his own son's death battle. Jorna was brilliant. <laughs> But Joker had the versatility, experience, and almighty power for the final blow. Jorno missed his golden opportunity and had a shell of a time. <laughs> hey, Wiz, you hear what I said? I said, Jorno missed his golden opportunity and he had a shell of a time. The winner is Joker. The winner next Joker. Death Battle. All right, who's the next one? Is that Dr. Eggman versus Valser? Oh, we're going to see this? Oh, ho, 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 I got to see this shit. Subscribe we gotta and join this member to see more Death Battle. Oh. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, all right. I guess that's the end of the video. I guess Joker won that Death Battle. I don't know how, how you guys feel about that. But, hey, I guess that's what it is. I know people didn't like the Bardock versus Army Man. We did. And I had a feeling that Army Man was going to win. Just because I think the way how Death Battle does it a lot. Man, I got it. I think Varda should have won that fight, but it is what it is. So, all right, guys, that's this the end of the video. One well, more party kid delete. So, uh, watch more death battle. Want me to see? Watch the Eggman versus Balister. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you guys again.